Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for having us. I have Darren and Tor with me today. We are from Magnitude Simba Connectivity. Um, we are very excited to be partnering with KX. And um, as Helen Keller put it, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. And I look forward to seeing what this partnership will be able to achieve. On the agenda, I have a short introduction. I'll talk about some of the challenges that can exist when trying to extract value data. Um, the solution with SQL and ODBC, a quick but short demo, and any questions that you have. We are new. We just started our partnership on May 1st. Uh, so I figured I'm going to introduce uh, Magnitude Simba Connectivity, who we are and what we do, okay? We were founded in 1991, and in 1992, we partnered with Microsoft to co-develop the first standardized ODBC driver. So a lot of the standards come out from that partnership for ODBC. Since then, we have partnered with others, and we delivered other solutions. For example, we make our SDK public so that others can build ODBC and JDBC drivers. We were also one of the first to create the ODBC for Hadoop and NoSQL. We've made ODBC and JDBC drivers for different SaaS um, data sources, so Salesforce, Marketo, Concur. And in 2016, we were acquired by Magnitude, which allowed us to expand our market and make partnerships such as this with KX possible. So some of our partners from the Hadoop side, we have, we partner with Cloudera, Hortonworks, MapR, on the um, BI and analytics, Tableau, um, Click, Informatica, MicroStrategy, one of our newer partners, uh, our studio. We value our partnerships because this is the foundation for greater things to come. And since 1991, we've added quite a few da data sources, as I mentioned, some from the SaaS, Salesforce, Marketo, Concur. We have from Hadoop, Spark, um, Hive, Impala, NoSQL connectors, um, as well as relational connectors. These include both ODBC and JDBC for Mac, Linux, uh, and Windows platforms. So the five minute history in five words or less, we're the connectivity experts. So some of the challenges that may exist when trying to extract value data. I wanna do a bit of an exercise and I wanna think about extracting data as a whole. So let's say, let's take um, a, a BI application and a data source vendor and let's look at it as a, from the bigger picture, um, thinking in terms of how do they fit together? And what is the end goal? I'm sure that we all agree that data storage alone is not the end goal, because without meaningful access to data, it can be, it can be equivalent to, for example, my university books sitting on the shelf just taking up space, okay? So we want people to use our products. We want to deliver valued data to our customers. Whether you are a BI application or a data source, you want people to use your products. So I want to take a look at the solution from the BI perspective. I'm gonna take Tableau because I'm gonna be demoing in Tableau. And let's say they're, they are very great in some of the data visualization tools that they have. So a customer comes to them and they say, we love your tool and we have our data in Oracle. We want to use your tool. So as BI vendors, let's say, putting ourselves in their shoes, we make a connector. That's great. Another customer comes to us and they say, our data source is Salesforce. As a BI vendor, we can make another connector, and so on. As you can imagine, that becomes a tremendous amount of work, and rather than focusing on data visualization, all of a sudden we're building connectors. 
Now let's look at it from the data source vendor. I'm gonna take Oracle, customer comes to us and they say, I would love to use Power BI, okay? So you go, okay, what are my options here? I could partner with Oracle and get Power BI to make a native connector, uh, sorry, I can partner with Microsoft and make a connector to, um, to Oracle. Then somebody else says, I, would lo I love Excel, I would like to use that. And then we go on, partner with somebody else from a different department within Microsoft, they make a connector. And then my, somebody comes and says they want to use MicroStrategy. So we make another connector. And so on, as you can see, that can quickly become an M times N problem. So what is the solution? We want, yeah, so um, we do want to, the idea has been around for some time is using SQL and ODBC to connect the application to the data source. In this case, KDB is an example. We, we want to open it up to more people. So putting ourselves in the application perspective, what do we have to do? We make ODBC calls, so we no longer make the different connectors. We make ODBC calls, and in the end, it doesn't matter what the data source is. It can be relational, it can be NoSQL, it can be SAS, it can be da big data. As long as there is a driver, there will be connectivity. Now, let's take a step back and think, have we reached our goal? Who are our customers? Modern enterprises often talk about data fragmentation. They have their data stored in multiple databases. And in order to get the whole view for their organization, they might need some information from Salesforce. They might need some information from Marketo. They might need some information from Google Analytics. <laughs> and by providing a single tool that they could use to do that, that allows them to bring value to the customer. So if we were on the application side in that sense, um, we could do that. Now, if you are a database vendor, as an example, what are your choices, keeping in mind that that's where applications have uh, found the solution. Okay, as long as you can make an ODBC driver, which is compliant with ODBC standards, you will be able to reach a larger customer base because your customers now have access to all these tools that they could use to extract value from. And this is where Magnitude Simba connectivity comes in. Thank you to Mark Sykes and Darren Ripka. We are proud to announce that we will be building the ODBC driver for KDB. So we talked about the solution as a whole, but just let's break it down and take a look at the individual components. So we have our application layer which can be data visualization, data integration, BI reporting. It can be any custom application which can issue ODBC calls. It's going to do some catalog function calls and find out the metadata about the data source, bring it back to the application. Then what it will do is it will create the SQL and pass it into our driver. Our driver will parse that SQL, pass it on to the database, get a result set, and then either process it further within our driver or push it back to be displayed in, uh, in the application. As I mentioned, we just started on May 1st, so um, we have a timeline, uh, and we are going to be building the Windows MVP driver first, and I know most of you have expressed the interest of having KDB Plus on Linux. You can still use the Windows driver to access your Linux uh, KDB Plus. 
And then, of course, after that, we will be building the full driver for other platforms. And I have Tor here with me. Come find me. I'll introduce you because he is going to be overseeing the MVP and the full driver. And we, we're here because we want to hear from you how you use KDB+, Plus, what value it brings to you, and look at some of the use cases because this is a partnership and we are building the driver for you. And we want to hear those um, challenges, some of the, if you've used um, some of the ways how you use it so that we can make sure that we can deliver something that helps you. Okay, without further ado, demo. So this is a very, um, this is going to be a very simple demo. I just want to showcase how we are going to, um, how you would be able to use our driver. So I'm just going to open up, I have it on Windows here. Um, okay. Okay, so I just, I'm going to open up port 1510. Just going to load, uh, missing. I'm a QB right now. And I grabbed some of these from your initial tutorial. So I have it, I have it here. So I have my tables and so it's going to be running in the back. Um, I have the driver installed here. What you would do is you just run an installation. And then in order to set up a DSN, data source name, I'm going to use ODB. ODB. Oh, it's a little bit harder to do. ODBC administrator. And I'm going to set up a system DSN. So this is what you would go through to set up the driver. I'm going to add, um, so I mentioned I have the driver set up already. I'm just setting up the DSN, KD, K, B, O, D, B, C, uh, description. The data directory, uh, I'm just going to read from in memory right now, but let's say for the sake of the presentation, this would be where you would have your on disk. Um, data, local host, and the port 1510. So I'm just going to do a test. Successful. So we've connected and we just created a DSN. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to open up Tableau. I'm using Tableau Desktop. In this case, how you would access the driver with the DSM we just cre created, other databases, ODBC, KDB ODBC right here. I'm going to connect and sign in. Okay, so behind the scenes, what Tableau is doing is it's issuing the catalog functions to find out what tables are stored. So uh, I just said I'm just going to do the in memory. Um, it made another call just by clicking it right here. I can see the tables I've loaded into in memory. I drag it over. While I do that, it makes another catalog functions to say bring up all the columns. And by clicking update, what I'm doing is I'm just a real time in real time bringing in the data from there. Okay, so it's just the select behind the scenes. Now, uh, before this presentation, I created um, some worksheets, which are kind of like dashboards. They're very simple, just to showcase what is possible. I created them ahead of time, so I'm just going to close this um, and start them off saved. So you can save these dashboards, and when I connect and open them up, they're being read real time. Um, so right here, simple, simple, just um, I'm taking different um, like Apple, Amazon, Facebook. Here's the average and let's say the total 
uh, volume for the trades. For the next one, for the daily price and volume, I'm just picking, let's say, for Google, okay? Um, the most traded stock, uh, we're doing um, the count, basically, and the daily prices uh, comparing Google and Amazon. So what's happening behind the scenes in Tableau is we're actually, Tableau, not the driver, Tableau is issuing the SQL calls. For example, the daily price and volume for that first dashboard for all, it's making the sum, it's making the average, and that sends it to our driver and we then pass it on to KX, get the data and display it back. So here's the where clause that gets added from the Tableau side when you do just for Google and then the most traded count and so forth. And that will um, conclude my demo. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>